How 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 big or what was the significance of a hype man? What was the significance of a hype man back then? Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, like I would say for me, I would never really like talking on the mic. So I would have a hype man that was with me, and we fed off of each other, and it worked perfect back then. Was it the same vibe? You had the DJ, you had a hype man, or was it the DJ was the hype man? Or, you know, for you, how did that work? Well, back then, the DJ was the hype man. Okay. Um, then came along the person that liked to talk on the mic. So if you have the DJ that doesn't like to talk, and you have the person that likes to talk, then it goes hand in hand. So the significance of a hype man really helps out the energy of the the, the party. So so as far as you you are being a DJ, you have to know you have to be able to be your own hype man. You know that's how I feel. Now the other person being a hype man that's just extra. You know that's extra hypeness. So but if you are you one one man band is what I call it, then you hey. You just said you don't need a hype man. But, you know, there's always a window uh, for a hype man, I feel. Uh, just like, just for instance, me and my man Bruce Wayne, you know, I didn't talk a lot. He was, I, I ran into him uh, it just, just on random, and he was at working a strip club. So he, uh, you know, we talked, chopped it up. You know, woo -woo, told him I worked at Vera Rose. He wanted to come to hang out at uh, at uh, Vera Rose, and so we were like, hey. So we, one night, one Sunday night, he came to the Vera Rose, and he heard me spin. I talked a little bit. He said, "Let me get the mic," and bam, there it went. Ooh. So, I to me, he kind of really opened some doors to for some people. Because he was basically the only person I knew. I never knew uh, a hype man, mm -hmm. you know. But but that really helps a DJ if they are not willing to, you know, take take it upon itself to hype the party. They just want to play music. To these at these days, you have to be able to work the mic mm -hmm. as well as DJing. So, and if you can work the mic and you got a hype man too, that's it's extra fun, extra hypeness, and people are happy. Right. So there you go. The hype man was the DJ's mouth. Right. By mouthpiece, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, at that point, it worked for them. And that's where the rapper was born, because the rapper was the hype man. Yep. And the attention soon grew from the DJ and went to that guy with yep. the mic. You know what I mean? So it's the evolution of DJing and hip-hop and rap and all of that right there. <laughs> all in one thing. All up right there. Yeah, 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 man. There's two things I can take away from Caddies. Number one was I introduced Louisville to the hype man. And it's so crazy. Eric Cambro, you know what I'm saying? He's a hell of a talker, right? I was like, look, man, get on the mic and say something because I'm not a talker. I can't hype a party up for nothing but with my music. You know what I'm saying? I, I get on the mic, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm just shy like that. So I, you know, I funny okay. man, Kimbro. So I'm like, here, man, here's the mic. Get on the mic and, and hype the crowd up. Nobody will know this, man, but Eric was speechless. He didn't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, today, you couldn't believe it. But back then, I, I was like, come on, man. And then eventually, he just started saying, he would just yell on the mic. You know what I'm saying? But it worked. And he, I'm thinking he was probably like the, the first well-known hype man 
there was plenty that came after him. But so I remember that. Place and promoter. Uh, oh, place. Uh, okay. Place would be Velvet Rose on Sundays. Promoter would be Mr. Willie. He wasn't even promoter. He was just a club owner. Mm -hmm. The DJ was the promoter back then as well because people went off of how good you were and how well you keep a crowd. You know what I mean? Right. So the place would have been Velvet Rose on Sunday night. The prom promoter was just the club, Velvet Rose. Right. Yeah. That was just it. Yeah, yeah, Ghetto Rose. They got, man, we had a million <laughs> names. We, the Stick and Stab, the <laughs> whatever. Like, you had to come into Velvet the right way. Uh, right. So you get drug out. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what was my favorite place for a promoter? Or both? Hmm. Good question. That's a good one. That's good one. Uh, my favorite place was the Velvet Rose. It was my favorite place. Um, spent a lot of time there. I seen a lot of things there, you know. Um, second was Billy's, Billy's place. Uh, I've done a few. I've done a few places in 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 Louisville, but those are my two main places. Uh, promoters. Uh, I can't say. I can't say promoters. Um. Uh, I really can't say promoters because I've, you know, worked with promoters and been on the other end of the not so good stick. So, <laughs> so, I mean, there's some good ones out there, I ain't gonna lie, but as far as the ones I've dealt with, uh, I really... Well, I'm only talking about back then. Not, yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah right now. Yeah. Uh, just, it was basically just, you know, the club owners, you know, so I really didn't really get a good chance of really building a relationship with a promoter. Mm -hmm. So I really can't can't go with that route. Can't can't say. I've had so many places that I've DJed and so many promoters that I've worked with. I can't narrow it down to just one. I'm sorry. I mean, now everybody's going to remember me from Yourville and Caddy's. But I've been doing so many different parties. I mean, Caddy's, without a doubt, took my DJ career to another level, you know. And it's so crazy how I even got into Caddy's. And maybe we'll talk about that later. But that took my DJ career to another level because that put me on a totally different stage in the city of Louisville, whereas initially I was just, you know, U of L basically. And Caddy's was good, but I mean. You think about all the parties that I did for the good timers. I mean, we talking from Utopia when I was in a little closet DJing, sweating my tail off, right? All the way to, you know what I'm saying, when it really blew up and we and they went to headliners. You know what I'm saying? So good timer parties. Then I, you know what I'm saying, I on with, you know what I'm saying, uh, Mike and Jamie, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and Big Don. And I had so many parties, you know what I'm saying, that was just crazy fat and just wow you know and then i mean i would say from recent memory some of the best parties i had i did was uh more recent i guess would be when i did uh dream team at icebreakers oh my god that was <laughs> those were some good saturdays man i tell you those were some good saturdays but i mean if you're talking about i mean i did the elks Caddy's Club Paradise was the very first club that I did. No, actually, the very first club I did, and it turned out wasn't that great, was uh, Club Elizabethan. And I don't even think people even really know about that. But I wasn't there. That, it didn't really pop off like that. But then Club Paradise, uh, our frat, uh, Donnie, he owned it. He brought me in. And it was, it was straight at first. Mm -hmm. It was real straight. And I went from there to Caddy's. And then my life just changed. You know, from, from Caddy's, it was just, you know. And for those that didn't go to Caddy's, all I can say is you missed out. You missed out. Right? Yeah. Now, Caddy's, it was so wild. Ain't no way it would work today. 
Because love is just too wild right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we talking ladies drunk for free on Saturday nights. They, they would get a little red cup and they drank for free. Yeah. And, you know, but I mean, caddies, elks, Utopia. I mean, I Billy's. I mean, I've done, I've done it all. You know what I'm saying? And the only place I haven't done is uh, I can't even think of the name of it now. But that's why a lot of people know me because I've kind of been everywhere. You know, I've, I've done, I've worked with a lot of promoters here in the, in the city. You know what I'm saying? And even you talking about Sunday nights, make it rain entertainment you know what i'm saying sunday nights at jim porters oh i forgot about jim porters right oh my god jim porters on holidays mm. yeah i mean i mean jim porters was that's another club is gone but you know it, I've, I've just done i've done a lot of parties i've done a lot of parties i've loved a lot of concerts and comedy shows i mean i've done a lot but i will say the president is the